All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I just wanna do a quick recap of what we talked about on our Go Live session this past Wednesday. So what we did is that we read this book called Douglas, You're a Genius by Ged, Jed? Ged Adamson. And uh, we ba loosely based on uh, our lesson based on that. So we didn't really do art, but uh, I just kind of read you guys a story. And then uh, we kind of loosely talked about an idea of what you guys could do over the week. So anyways, let's get started with this book. So this one's called Douglas, You're a Genius. And I love this book, so <laughs> let's get going. Alright, this one's called... Okay, um... Alright, so this book's called Douglas, You're a Genius. Alright, let's read this inner cover, because it looks important. <laughs> Alright, hello! Hello! Douglas, why won't they answer? I think we'll have to go over this fence. Great idea, Douglas. I'll get the trampoline. Wait, what? <laughs> this book is so cool. All right, looks like they are playing ball. I don't, <laughs> that's not baseball. <laughs> it looks like they're playing cricket. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, here we go. All right. Nancy and Douglas were playing ball in the backyard when Nancy hit one too hard. Oops, cried Nancy. There it goes. It's so dark I can't see anything but leaves. I'd say that ball's a goner. Then something mysterious happened. Nancy and Douglas called into the hole. Thank you. But there was no response. Nancy whistled into the hole. Douglas barked into the hole, but still nothing. Who's over there? Douglas wondered. He had an idea to find out. And here's a train set. Looks like they're building it. And looks like they put some notes on the train where it says, hello, we are Nancy and Douglas. Nancy and Douglas hoped it would work. They waited and waited and waited. Ugh. Looks like they're playing music and banging pots and pans. And they waited some more until Queremos Concierte. Hola. Wow. Nancy tried to sound out the words, but she had no idea what they meant. I don't know what they mean either, but now I really want to see who's on the other side of the fence. They looked side to side. They looked up. It's kind of high, said Douglas. Have no fear. I have a plan, Nancy cried. What do you think, Nancy asked. It's basically a blueprint of my plan. I think it looks dangerous, muttered Douglas. Nonsense, said Nancy. You'll be fine. Just run, jump, and bounce. Wow! Almost, said Nancy, exclaimed. You really got some nice elevation. Not as nice as we had hoped, grumbled Douglas through a mouthful of leaves. I have a plan. Let's... I have another plan, Nancy interrupted. Nancy's even better plan. I'm not sure about this, Douglas groaned. Where's your sense of adventure, Douglas? Yes, asked Nancy. And before he could say another word, she yanked the strings. Whoosh! Douglas moved astonishingly fast, but unfortunately not in the upward direction. Can we please try my plan now, he asked. But Nancy wasn't finished yet. She had lots of ideas, and Douglas tried them all. Looks like pole vault, climbing, a sprinkler, kite. But finally, Douglas had had enough. It's my turn. Douglas's extremely clever plan. Dig. Fine, but I can already tell that this is a silly idea, Nancy said. Douglas started digging. And digging some more. Finally, he stopped. I knew you'd give up, said Nancy. I didn't give up. I'm finished. 
said Douglas. Look behind you. Douglas, you're a genius. Don't look down, Nancy. By the time they reached the top, they were in for a big surprise. Wow, wow. Hello, hola, woof, guau. <laughs> Looks like they had the same plan. The new friends got busy right away on a new plan. It looks like they're trying to build some sort of theme park on their backyards. La Musica, El Viento, Powers Escalator, Saw, Wood, Welcome, Una Piscina, Un Tobagan. I don't know. I think that's how I said it. I, don't, I think I said it wrong. <laughs> we will need help. Slide, lots of plastic balls, and some more. All right, let's keep going. And it was the most genius plan of all. Welcome, splash, magnifico. Up, magnificent. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. I'm really bad at Spanish, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's the end of the book. So anyways, the point of this book was trying to be as inventive as you can. And what I did is that I asked the students how they could be inventive in their own way using sidewalk chalk. So if you had sidewalk chalk, if you have sidewalk chalk, what I asked you guys to do is uh, try to create something inventive with the chalk, either on your driveway or on the sidewalk. You can make like a path, you can make like some sort of like a game out of it. Anything they can do that involves trying to be inventive. And basically that's the art project of the week. Um, it's not required. If you don't have sidewalk chalk, you don't have to worry about it if you want. I've seen people add uh, stuff on windows and just use tape and paper. You can kind of like promote your ideas that way so people can see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was a fun activity and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.